backyard with uh well an actual review now on the uh the fly creek hbul1 um from big agnes i actually just set up a video of this last fall now that i've actually had time to use it i have some final thoughts on it um going over the actual specs again so i don't misquote them this is uh, the one person version they also offer this in a two person and a three person version version they do also offer it in a bike packing version uh, I believe that's in a one and a two person as well. Uh, they also a they do a platinum version, which is a lighter version than this guy, and then a carbon version, which is even a, more light. Um, so this is just the standard HVUL one. Uh, this one right here, the one person version, uh, packed weight two pound one ounces. That's full as is. Trail weight one pound eleven ounces. That it's obviously if you take the bags and stuff away. Uh, fast fly weight one pound four ounces. That's just with the fly. Uh, 20 square feet of flooring. And yeah, vestibule, five square feet. Footprint weight, three ounces if you actually do the footprint. The size is actually pretty small as you can see here. This is how big it actually packs up. This is the actual packing bag that it comes with. Um, it's a traditional, just a simple bag. I also, I, I'm more of a guy that likes the the fillet bags where you can jam the tent in from the side and just cinch it down but it does weigh more so if you're looking for ultra white light this is obviously what it's almost always going to come with the stakes which I actually have most of them in right now I did not put them all in actually this time uh, that come with it uh, they come with 11 of them uh, from at least that's how many mine came with they're a simple uh, L branded stake nice and light I do like these stakes a lot to be honest and it does also come with a tent pole repair kit which is basically um, kind of common you know you should most tents do come with them uh, it's just a emergency repair so if you did bit break a tent pole you can stick this on there and actually repair that the pole in this case is a one piece that does lay out into three basically a triangle or a th I'm sorry a, a three-way uh, if you watch the setup video that I did and I'll post a link down below you can see all that as well so that is the gist of the actual tent what it is uh, obviously you can see that i have the rain fly i have it open right now there is a way to keep the door open uh, i even have the, the tent itself open but it's just a single door in there's there's only one way in one way out it's uh the pole that goes off to the bot back you do have to you or you'll want to at least uh actually put out the stakes in the back at least i do like tents i personally like tents that i don't have to put stakes out but when you get to the ultralight stuff you almost have to because they're trying to skip down on how much structures in the tent to ma maximize uh, weight savings essentially so let me get a little different setup so you can take a peek inside the tent all right now a little more intimate right so this is what it looks like with one single person in the tent if i put my feet all the way at the bottom i'm five foot eleven i still have several a good foot above my head to be honest for uh how much clearance i have there are little points up here that i can actually hang a light um, you could actually do a small gear loft if you really wanted to. Uh, there is a small pocket right up here, so I could, if I didn't want to hang, but if I went, had a headlamp, I could stick the headlamp up here, and it actually is going to shine down. There's small gear uh, stove pieces on both sides, and that's about it. It's it's fairly simple. It's fairly there's not a whole lot of extra benefit features. Uh, there's a lot of mesh, which to be honest it's a good thing especially in a three season tent you want a good lot a good a decent amount of um, air movement especially when it gets warmer uh, this is not a four season tent you're not going to be using this car or camping in the wintertime um, let's say you couldn't it's gonna be pretty cold uh, definitely a one person tent in this case they do make like I said they do make a two person and a three person version of it but from this um, the walls 
don't feel you don't get that claustrophobic feel that you do with some of those other really really small tents that are almost basically staged bivy sacks with with poles um, this is definitely a one person tent uh, you have enough room that if you needed to sit up um, you know whatever eat do whatever you wanted to do there is enough room in here to do that now of course I'm not a very large person uh, I'm not the smallest person in the world anymore but this is you know there is space in here um, even moving back you know there is space in here so the thing that I've taken away from this specific tent is it's I love the packable size I really do I love the weight um, whenever you get down to about two pounds for a fully packed tent meaning I'm not skimping on anything you know you're right in this case just over two pounds it feels good it, it fits good in your pack um, and then if you obviously in this case this is going to be a one person tent, so you're not going to share this weight for with another person like you would maybe with a two or a three person um, so this is going to be something that's for you uh, and obviously the nice thing about it is it, it is for you and you can have your time alone even if you're with a group of people it's kind of your style in place the vestibule a little small um, I do like to have a vestibule large enough to maybe put a couple things in there in, in addition to my shoes uh, in this case it's gonna be for shoes and some small things I'm not gonna put the pack probably in there if I'm actually using this backpacking uh, however the tent is big enough that I probably would bring the pack in with me as long as I'm not in bear country right otherwise I'm probably leaving it up in a tree or something like that so everybody does their packing differently and everything uh, but the uh, yeah, the Fly Creek's pretty solid tent. Well, I figured I'd end the video here from the back side of the tent rather than from the front that you already saw. Um, some good, some nice takeaways that I have from this specific tent is, I mean, aside from the, the weight and, and how much room I have inside, just the tent itself, the things that they thought about when they actually designed the tent. Um, I like that there are color-coded clips. Um, the front is that kind of a burgundy in the back as a yellow. Um, those clips just make the rain fly easy to snap on. There's just three attachment points. So you can got, you can actually put out your, your tent, stake it all down, throw the rain fly on. Now, after the rain fly on, you still have a few guy points to actually put out. Um, but that's the, that'd be probably the number two thing is the amount of guy line support that is on this tent. It is definitely designed to handle a lot of windy events. Now, today's a pretty windy day, if you haven't noticed on the, uh, on the audio, maybe. But it's, they have a lot of points in here to make sure that this tent is very, very sturdy. When I actually set it up here in my backyard with these gusts going on, when I, I put the tent out, I put the poles up, the, the tent literally started toppling over because it's so light. It's so light. Um, and I didn't have any stakes in it yet. Um, so having those guy line points is definitely nice. And of course, when you're in it, it's going to be less likely that anything has happened, but uh, something to bring up at least. Um, a lot of the small things obviously the tie opens to keep doors open things like that that most that most tents to be honest have uh, but they do a nice that the little the plastic t-clip that they put on this I do like that on the on the big Agnes tents uh, it's something that I always look forward to but that said um, that is the Fly Creek UVUL one um, and like I said this can actually be applied to the other UVUL two and three as well um, as well as you could even take this to the bike packing version um, or the platinum and the carbon version, they're just going to be lighter. The bike packing version has a few niceties for people that are using it for bike packing, which I do bike pack, so um, it's one of those things that I definitely like to consider at least trying one of those out as well. But Big Agnes makes some awesome tents. I have nothing but great recommendations for that company. There are a few companies that I'm a huge fan of, and Big Agnes is definitely one of them. They make awesome sleeping bags, they make awesome sleeping pads. Definitely check them out put links right at the top of the description if you have any questions for me please comment post below share the video if you can get this out there like it subscribe to the channel if you have time appreciate it hit the bell on if you want um, I have a lot more videos coming up this spring and uh, stay tuned so thanks for checking us out here on Camp Geeks we'll see you next time